Hi, dear doers. Bank reconciliation is the process of matching the balances in an entity's accounting records for a bank and cash account to the corresponding information on a bank statement. As we discussed in our video, bank configuration, the invoices and bills go through different payment statuses depending on the fact that it's unpaid, matched with a payment, or finally with a bank statement. If you haven't watched this video prior to this one, I strongly advise you to do so to make sure you understand fully all the concepts. In Odoo, when we create a new bank statement, all the bank statement lines are not reconciled yet with an existing payment or invoice in the database. However, when the bank statement is processed, we post accounting entries to make sure that the actual balance of the bank account is reflected properly in the balance sheet report. However, at that point, we haven't reconciled anything yet. To enable the posting of the entries, Odoo will automatically put a transit account called the suspense account as the counterpart of all the bank entries. When we start reconciling the, all the statement lines, this account will be updated by the counterpart the user has chosen chosen. So if you reconcile it with an open invoice or bill, the counterpart will be then the receivable or the payable account related to that entry. In addition to updating the bank entry, Odoo reconciles it with the invoice or bill that will now appear as paid. If you then reconcile it with the bank entry, uh, if you reconcile the bank entry with an existing payment, the counterpart will be the outstanding account related to that payment. And in addition to updating the bank entry, Odoo will reconcile it with the chosen payment, changing the payment status of the original invoice from in payment to paid. Let's see how this works in Odoo. Okay guys, let's go in the accounting application and see how to reconcile our bank statements. First, we're just going to have a quick look at our customer invoices and more specifically, one that is in payment to see how uh, our payment entry looks like. So here on my customer invoice, I have the in payment status, which means that I have registered a payment, but I have not reconciled it with the bank statement yet. So we have a quick look our journal, at our journal entry for the payment. We view, we have the journal entry here. As I was saying earlier, I don't have the bank account as the counterpart for my receivable, but I have the outstanding account, which means that when we reconcile this payment with the bank statement, the counterpart will be this outstanding and will be reconciled with this entry. We will check the impact of that reconciliation later on this invoice. Now let's go and reconcile our bank statements. Before that, I just want to show you all the journal entries related to that statement and see how those are constructed before we reconcile. So here on my bank statement, I have different transactions. And as you can see here, I have already some partners filled in for me. That's not an information that the synchronization or the creation of a bank statement can give you. Uh, it's depending on the bank account number that is visible in bank statements, and it will match with the contacts that have the same account number. So it's really useful to put the bank account numbers of your contacts to make it easier to match with, with bank statements during the reconciliation later. Let's check out our journal entries. And I was as I was saying, we have every time the same combination. So on one side, we have the bank account. And on the other, we have the suspense account. And every time we reconcile one tra the transaction, it will update the suspense account with the chosen counterpart during reconciliation. Now let's go and reconcile our bank statement. So when you arrive here, every gray line represents one transaction within your bank statement. And what Odoo tries to do is based on the partner, based on the label, based on the amount, it will try to match with an existing invoice or payment. So here, perfect for GP Patrick, I have already a counterpart for my invoice with a proper amount. And once the counterpart suits you, you just have to validate and we're good to go. And we go, we're going to go one transaction after the other until it's done. Here, same thing. We have an existing invoice. We're just going to validate. Next up, we have another client, so GP Patrick. Here we have the label, we have the amount, but Odoo will not find a counterpart because the amount doesn't match properly any invoice existing in the database. So here, as you can see in the customer vendor matching, Odoo filters based on the contact that we have here. And I have an existing invoice for that contact but it's just a bit too, uh, it's too much based on the amount that we have in the transaction. What I can do is just click here and give it, uh, choose it as a counterpart. But what Odoo will do is partially reconcile it with the invoice automatically. And if you click on the little pencil, you can try to change also the amount if you need to. 
Next up here, I have one payment, but for two different invoices. So I have two different labels in it, in the, in the transaction, and I have the proper amount. It doesn't stop or do, as you can see, it matches both invoices at the same time. Here for the transaction, when Odoo doesn't find any information, and as you can see, I don't have any partners, so I don't have any filters, I have all the open customer and vendor invoices as well as the payments available for me to match with that transaction. So I noticed you have black and blue lines on your screen. What do they mean exactly? Well, it's a really good question, Tom. Based on the color, it indicates you if it's an open invoice or bill or if it's a payment. So if the line is black, you have an invoice or a bill uh, that is yet to be reconciled. And if it's blue, it means that it's a payment entry as we've seen together when we checked out our customer invoice earlier. So here for my bank fees, what I'm gonna do is I can't match with an existing invoice, it doesn't exist, or an existing bill. So what I will do is, you is I'm going to use the manual operation tab, enabling me to put manually a counterpart for that specific transaction. So I can choose the account manually and automatically I will have the counterpart chosen for me. If you want to go faster, what you can do is also, we, as you can see, we have already some buttons here uh, corresponding to reconcil reconciliation models in Odoo. And that fills the information for me to make it easier when I reconcile. So if I click on bank fees, automatically I have the correct account filled in for me and I can just afterwards just validate. Well, here we're done. As you can see, Odoo is very happy. Let's go back in the bank statement to see what the journal entries look like. So here, as you can see, we don't have any more suspense accounts available. And every time we have the proper counterpart that has been replaced, uh, updated automatically for each transaction. In the matching section, you also here you see we have matching numbers because all those related invoices and payments, of course, are now reconciled together with the transaction and it reflects in the invoices statuses. So if we check out our customer invoices again, as you can see, I have all of those in paid or in payment and partially paid if I want to. And uh, it has automatically updated with uh, the uh, invoices. So if we check out our GP Lee's invoice again, and we want to see all the journal entries. So I arrive as, again in the payment as usual, uh, but as you can see in the buttons and uh, the smart buttons, I have the link directly to the statement if I want to, since it has been reconciled. And if we check out the journal entry, hasn't changed, of course, but in the reconciled entries, I have all the details for all the journal entries related to it. So you have the original payment with the outstanding that is reconciled with my invoice, so on the receivable here, we have the receivable from the invoice, and we have the outstanding here related to the the bank statement entry with the outstanding. So all those are matched together, and the, um, uh, well, the process is complete. That's it for me in this video. If you want to know more about reconciliation models or bank synchronization, don't hesitate to check out our related videos for that. Thank you for watching, and ciao a tutti.